Welcome along guys, well continuing with the trend of the new 2020 Hyper Naked bikes I've got myself a loan of the all new Ducati Street Fighter Now this is the S model with the Olins, the wings, the Marchesini wheels This is the first ride vid, my first impressions, I'm just at Ducati UK It's just over there we're going to take this all the way home on the back roads about three hours little blast on this as a first ride video i am quite excited about this one roll the intro chopsy Now I've just handed back the new Super Duke to KTM, so I'm just getting off of the Super Duke, stepping onto this. So this will be really interesting. Looking at the bike, the actual quality of the machine is, is I have to say, a step up from the Super Duke. The Super Duke is lovely, but the finish on, on this is another level. It is another level. This is a more expensive bike. This is a, oh, this is the S model. So this has got the electronic Olins. This is a 20,000 pound motorcycle. So to be fair, <laughs> it is five grand more than the Super Dookie. Listen to that. That is a, that's a standard exhaust. It is loud. The riding position. It's a little bit more upright than the Super Duke. There's a bit more weight on your backside. The bars are higher. So there's a bit more weight over the rear of the bike compared to what the Duke has. And perhaps I'd, I'd say a little bit less of a sporty position. Listen to it, it sounds phenomenal. This of course has got the Panigale V4 engine in. You know, tuned slightly differently for street for a naked type bike but i've heard that this is you know i've seen some other reviews people have said it's very much a top end power type bike we will see no preconceptions here but just the sound of it is absolutely incredible when you turn the throttle grip it's a little bit flat a tiny little bit flat in comparison with the super Duke. i, I, I I try not to just compare this to the Super Duke the whole time but that's going to be a little bit difficult because I have just got off of it let's see what the overtaking power is like well that's changing at 9 grand and it's absolutely flying because this is a, a V4 motor you've of course you've got a lot of grunt a, a lot of grunt, not as much as a V-twin, but you have got a lot of initial grunt. It's not like a straight four engine. And the V4, this red line's at 14 and a half thousand revs. So it has got a bananas red line. But that mid-range pull, <laughs> 30, that mid-range pull is much stronger than I was thought it was going to be. From the reviews I've seen, from the things I've heard, I thought it was going to be flatter than that. That has got a great amount of punch. Yeah, first impression, it's a lot of fun. It's a real fun bike. It feels like it's gonna handle, but not maybe not quite as sharp as the Super Duke because of the riding position. We'll see, it's early days. We've got all sorts of electronic suspension settings to play with yet as well. But there's just a bit less weight over the front. Kick in, it kicks! <laughs> that sounds good. How has this bike got through noise emissions? This is standard! How does this meet Euro regulations on noise? That's incredibly loud. You think of what the, uh, the ZH2 was like. You can barely hear it. It's that same sort of buzz that the Super Duke's got. Well, I'll mention the Super Duke again. Stop that, Chopsy. Front brake 
it's good doesn't feel quite as sharp as uh, that's the super tube suspension is lovely of course this is the full electronic lens the ec2 system i think it is absolutely well even over these really bumpy roads it's soaking it up and of course it's sporty this bike is of course has the wings i won't do a walk around in this video i'll do that when i do the proper review but this has got all the wings on it it's a beautiful thing actually just the fit and finish of it the, you know, the controls just the little bits of aluminium like the headstock ring down there oh it, it's a lovely finish i have to say it is beautifully made it's exquisite i think the word exquisite fits slow speed manners it's actually pretty darn good throttle response is nice when i'm in sport mode so let's not get carried away but there's a little bit of on off you know it feels like there's a lot of engine braking when you come off the throttle but i'm in sport mode need to play around with that sort of thing it's lovely it's really nice Yeah, it's quick. It's very, very quick. Suspension's really good, keeps it in shape even over the bumpy, undulating stuff. Feels really planted. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It is incredibly nice. to it you're sorry I'm a bit noisy coming through your little village yeah even in town throttle response beautiful let's try a bit of low speed loads of go oh bumpy down here but that's suspension that got them in power as well the state of this road you need decent suspension when the roads are like this oh it's take five minutes just to just to catch my breath it's not as immediately sporty feeling as the super duke we're going to do a bit of a comparison with the super duke because that bike is this bike's main rival really because you're set up like you feel as if your weight is more over the back of the bike there's less weight over the front and that, and of course the bars are higher, I think the bars are a bit closer to you. That does sort of limit, I think, the feel from the front end a little bit. It's not quite as sporty feeling as a Super Duke. Let me stop my music, I've got my music on. Gearbox is nice, gearbox is very, very nice. Off a minute. Lager, 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 oh wait. Born slippy. Born bloody noisy. What's it got? The Rosso Corsa 2s. Is that the Diablo ones? Yeah, Diablo Rosso Corsa 2s. Rubber. Magnesium casings. Wings. Olins. Dilema calipers. Little, little fins. For the LED cooling in, in these little scoops there. The, the front brake has a fair bit of travel on it, might want bleeding. Oh yeah, she, she, she's there, she's, she's beautiful, isn't she? The seat is actually really comfortable. The seat has got a lot of padding in it, it's nice. Because you are sat up right a bit more, as I keep saying, you do have quite a lot of weight on your bum, so I think that's padded for a reason, to give you a good bit of comfort. Other air goes, the legs, you actually, the legs are in a very, very similar position to the Super Duke. They, they don't feel high. I'd say they feel a little bit lower than the Tuono feeting position. It doesn't feel like I've got my legs tucked right up because this is, you know, the, the Panny V4 ergos, well, the frame and everything. I don't feel like the, my feet are, are suffering because this is a converted sports bike. That's not a camera van. 
No, jolly good. There's a bend, bumpy old bend. <laughs> bumpy right then. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's very nice. Plenty of mid-range out the corners there actually. Once you're past six grand, you've got a bag to talk. It's just that very initial bit of pickup, it feels a little bit flat. What a thing though, what a thing. It's amazing. It's got a Massive kick, 8,000 revs, massive kick. This is a 208, I think, <laughs> play course fair bike claimed. I think they die now about 185 at the back wheel. Right, let's have a go, second gear. Second gear, nice straight road. As the revs pick up, it doesn't, I thought it was gonna kick a little bit more at the top end. It just goes, it still pulls, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really kick in at the top. It's still, it's still revving, but it doesn't really punch. It's fast, don't get me wrong, it's bloody fast. But I thought maybe it would have a little bit more kick at the top. But I'm not disappointed, do not get me wrong. How much petrol has it got? That's an, has it got a fuel gauge? Oh, it's got to have a fuel gauge, surely. Fuel, 4.6 miles, 4.7 miles, oh, I'm on the fuel line. Yeah, looks like the fuel trips come on. 4.7 miles into needing some gasoline. Oh, I'm going to find a petrol station now. Oh, here we go, hunt for the petrol station now. The width of the bike is very thin. It feels a similar width to the Super Duke actually. <laughs> I will. Um, no, I'm not going to carry on mentioning the Super Duke. It feels a sim very, very similar width on the tank to the Super Duke. It's got lovely little overhangs here to get your knees underneath on track. I think this would be amazing on track. Absolutely incredible on track. The boring stuff, like the mirrors, are very nice. Very, very nice. Very stable. They've got a real quality feel to them when you move them. Yeah, the mirrors are lovely. Better. <laughs> than the Super Duke mirrors. And the whole bike is just, it just oozes quality. Absolutely oozes quality. I love the rev counter. I love that old fashioned sort of analog style rev counter, even though it's digital. Got a lot of time for that. Yeah, it's very, very stable feeling. In the, in, when you're laying it down, it's, it's very confidence inspiring. It feels like it's just stuck to the road. I don't want launch control. It always takes a little while, I think, with Ducatis to figure out the menu system. Mode, sport, here we go. Race, sport, street. I'm going to go street. And that tells you what all the settings are with street. Okay, street. So we've got cruise control. No cruise control. Street mode, let's try that. But first of all, let's program a petrol station. <laughs> Because I do not want to run out of petrol. The Desmo Sedici. Ooh, Desmo. Take me to the petrol. 12 minutes. Head northwest on Main Street towards Edgecott Road, then turn left onto the Broadway. Oh, don't shout, love. Jesus. Just a bit shouty. Oh, I'll turn you back on once we've got juice. I've got a fly right in there. Bloody camera and all. Any idea what's happened here, folks? <laughs> It's all inside as well. That's like fire, fire extinguisher. Yeah, someone's not a happy bunny. Twisties for a mile. And the white van and a load of cyclists. The fueling, I'm in sport again now. I have tried street again, but I've gone back to sport now. It is not as refined as the as the Super Duke, I'd say. It's a little bit, it's, it doesn't feel absolutely perfect. There's a couple of little areas, like around 3,000 here. Again, I'm in, I'm in sport mode. I should really be trying it in street, but I want to ride in sport mode, so this is what I've got to put up with. 
yeah, it's low down the rev range, but it's a little bit on and off. You can you can see that. That's like real fine throttle inputs. Again, I could live with it, but you might want to think about getting a, you know, it chipped or something. Getting it the fueling tuned to optimise it a little bit better. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. This absolutely lovely but it is £20,000 worth 20 grand that is a serious wadge of cash the non-S version I think is about 17 so that comes without the Olins you know I think it's got the, the sax the sax suspension you know manually adjustable not the electronic stuff horses be careful not to scare the horses but, uh, you know, again, it's, it's always the way with these S models. The S model's also got the Marchesini forged wheels. Which I think this bike is about three kilos lighter than the non-S version. And this is a 180 kilo bike, dry. It's 201 kilos fully fueled. I'm indicating still. So, you know, it's, it's slightly lighter. It's about four kilos lighter than the Super Duke. The power to weight on this bike is definitely higher than the Super Duke with 201 horsepower or 208 horsepower and 180 kilos. It's got an amazing power to weight. Absolutely incredible. Ooh, road surfaces a bit iffy there. You have to leave it bubbling a little bit. You do have to think about what gear you're in more so than you do with the Super Duke but that is quite engaging up and down the box you know with the quick shift and blipper it's it's very smooth very smooth box oh, shit in the road the surface of these roads leave a lot to be desired drive out the corner also very very nice but just that soundtrack there's no feeling that you've got to change the exhaust. Just like the Super Duke, that sounds great standard. This is even louder. Well, she sounds angry. What have I done to upset you? So much grip. The wheelie control is very good. It's keeping it very much in check. I know it's on wheelie control level four. We'll have to have a play around with that because I'd like it to be give it a little bit more entertainment. I want the front wheel coming up a little bit. Very stable at the moment. You've got Brembo Master and clutch levers, hydraulic. Clutch feels really nice actually. I found sometimes on Ducatis on, on the Hypermotard it can be a little bit they can be a little bit snatchy as you let them out. This when you, only when you're pulling away, you know, sort of more of a racy clutch feel. This doesn't have that. This feels very smooth, very nice. First gear, it's hot today, it's 30 degrees. Not really fine, I've even got my jeans on, I've even got my riding jeans on. I'm not really finding any heat off the engine really. I don't think the fans have kicked in yet. When they do, I might get blasted. But no real heat coming off it to speak of. I know. You know, the V2 Panigales with the, with the high level exhaust under the seat used to moan that it cooked your, cooked your testicles. Seems fine on this. Well, there we go, guys. First ride of the Ducati V4S Street Fighter. <laughs> A beautiful, beautiful bike. I'll bring you another review on this bike. A final sum up of how I found this bike riding it all weekend. And I probably when I'm riding it back to Ducati on Monday, I'll let you know what I really think to it. And how I think it compares to the Super Duke as the ultimate Super Naked. But thanks for watching, appreciate the support. If you've not already seen them, I've got full reviews of the Super Duke, full reviews of the new ZH2. So don't forget to subscribe, show me some love, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys. This is Power Level 1 which is full power.
arbres. Oh, je suis tanné. Hein. I told you I'm scared back there. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind get beat up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs> oh, shit.